hello in this video we'll see what happens when we have um, an extra core monitoring system problem with two different foil patterns so let's go to the UWER simulator and we start the task A02 with the loading one so burn up failure of extra core monitoring system we start the simulation And we see the boron exchange and the thermohydraulic model disconnecting, yes, and the core model went to static mode. So we don't have transients or things like that. Now we see these three neutron detectors, EIC1, 2, 2 and 3, which are the extra core monitoring systems, part of the AKNP, neutron flux monitoring system, and these are supposed to fail. They are already giving a slightly different value than this panel. The AKNP, the Neutron Flux Monitoring System, is formed by different systems. One are intracore and the other are extracore. In the intracore, let me check my notes. I think we have 64 channels. Yes. In some full assemblies, not all of them, we have a monitoring. We have an intracore sensor. It means we have a tube with a rhodium sensor, this rhodium absorbs neutrons and um, according to a fission product of rhodium disintegration mm, sequence we end up uh, generating electrons that we can measure. So this value here, the 9.9, .9, which is 99% of the rated power, comes from these 64 channels mm, containing neutron sensors. But on the other side, we have these extra core sensors that now are already displaying 99.8. And in this window here, we have this number that is brought by the extra core sensors. And we are already at 700 hours, and we see a discrepancy between the readings of the intra core and the extra core. Why we will do this exercise with this foil loading and the other one? Because the intracores is scattered um, in a pattern that is considered to be representative of the reactor nominal values or homogeneous values. While these extra core readings, if you see this located here, actually physically in reality is located in one corner like this, so this is very highly affected by the activity in this region. So if these foil assemblies here are very cold, this will have a lower reading than if these two were much hotter for the same nominal value of the total reactor output. So we already see a 100.4 according to the reading of the extra core. And I think I will stop the simulation at some given simulation time to be able to compare Objecti objectively with the loading 5. So let's stop it at 1500. Okay, we're almost there. 1500. So we are, I will take note of this. Extra core in loading 1 is 100. 0.7 while we're at the 99% with the intra core readings. Let's have a small look around. Boron concentration is at 6.1. Everything was stable here and the acceleration 30,000. And the foil enrichment is this one, like a cake shape. In which we have a maximum. Oh, sorry, this is. Maybe need to switch on. Yes. The foil enrichment is high in the corners with a value of 4.4 and minimum in the. Actually, all the reactor has an average value of 2, 2. Point something except the corner layer with a value of 4.4. .4. Okay, we'll close the simulation.
and now start again the same with a loading 5. That's correct. Start the simulation. And we can already see the different colorful pattern. And here the foil enrichment layout, which in which almost all the rods are at 4.4, so the maximum enrichment, and there are some spikes of several foil elements at 3. Born concentration much lower than before because overall we have a high enrichment, it's 4.9, and we are at 40 hours of simulation. Static model in the core, everything is the same as before. We start to see a discrepancy between the extra extra core and the intra core. The three extra core, uh, extra core give the same value, so it seems it's not an inherent problem of the each one of the sensors, but probably the system that manages the data from these three extra core sensors which is giving a higher than normal value. I'm just making a hypothesis. I don't know. Let's look at the tab. Okay, no errors for the moment. But if the neutron reading star keeps increasing, I think we will have an alarm or uh, some message at 100, 102. So if we know for certain that the no, not in a training exercise like this, but in, in a real situation, if we know that the problem comes from the extra core and the 64 um, channels still give a good reading, which is this 99%, what we could do is to set uh, this protection overlay, or we actually were disconnecting the security protection, so the reactor will not try to compensate the extra power because actually we know there is no extra power we're having this reading coming from 64 internal sensors and we are at almost thousand hours of simulation we'll stop at the same time as before at 1500 hours to compare the readings and we see that the readings are already higher than before so we can already tell that we'll see a difference let's have a look on to the graph and we we'll see scale by limits, TV, born concentration decreasing to compensate for the loss of reactivity because of the burn up of well. We are at 1200, almost 300 hours of simulation. And we are almost reaching 102. So this is the end high onset point alarm that we could get and prob probably also need to disconnect this security. Okay, well, I will stop the simulation now. 1500 hours. The reading is giving 101.6 and this is almost 1% higher than what we had before. We have the same reading from the 64 channels intra-core, 99% of nominal, and we have 101.6 before we had 100.7. So this is the difference that uh, we can have between external and internal readings because the inhomogeneity of the, of the core heat or neutron production uh, according or due to different foil loadings. We'll have a look again, but actually it's the same as before because the simulation is not changing this because we are in a static model. So this is the enrichment pattern of this exercise. Okay, so I hope this was clear. The extra core sensors are very sensitive to the local conditions close to the physical placement of them. 
So we have three. They will depend very much on the neutron production in the neighborhood of these three locations. While the intracore reading, which is the number given in this panel, comes from the averaging um, of the 64 channels which contain a rhodium sensor that is measuring the neutron production within the reactor in a in a homogeneous distribution inside it. Okay, this is the end of this exercise. See you in the next video. Bye.